So another exam done this morning as part of my uh, PPL training here in the UK. So I thought I'd talk to you about my process and what I got for the human performance exam. So thanks for tuning in for another video in terms of my PPL journey, specifically around the exams. So you would have seen previous video, I did the air law and the operational procedures exams. Uh, and then the next ones in my kind of journey are human performance, communications, and meteorology. They're the next kind of three that I'm looking at. And so this morning I had a slight delay in my lesson. So I thought I would take the human performance exam, which was the next one on my list. Um, so this is, I'm gonna tell you, again, my process, how things went and um, yeah, what I think about it. So first of all, to update you, I have it here uh, and I did pass. So again, it's a 75% pass rate. I got 91%, uh, which means I got one question wrong. And we'll talk about that in a moment. So in terms of the exam, like the other CIA exams, it's uh, a multiple choice. Uh, for this exam, you have 25 minutes and there are 12 questions. And it took me, or I, I spent uh, six minutes uh, on the exam. There was one question that I wasn't 100% sure on. It was worded strangely. I think there's a theme here. Um, so I did spend a little bit of time rereading over that one. Um, but in general, for me, um, I feel like the human performance is potentially one of the easier exams. Uh, the reason for that is, in general, a lot of it kind of is kind of high school biology, in, at least in my brain. Um, so they're, they're covering bits about how the eye works, how the ear works. So a lot of times, you know, if you've been to high school and you can remember some of that, uh, it's kind of just refresher stuff. So that was pretty straightforward. A lot of the rest of it is kind of common sense. And then there's just a few little bits and bobs um, that you need to kind of get up to speed with. As with the previous exam, uh, my kind of study strategy is as follows. I have the Pooley's books, which I will come back to in a moment. So I read the whole of the Pooley's book first. Then I sign up for the uh, easy PPL course and exam. I go through all of the slides on easy PPL along with the kind of modular questions as we go through to kind of check your competency uh, with each of the kind of modules in that slide on the slide deck. And at the end, uh, I do the kind of overall exam. And then basically the questions I've got wrong, I read through their feedback as to why I got the question wrong, make a little note as to the areas that I'm struggling with, come back again to the Pooley's book, check out uh, some of the specifics on there, and then also check again in the easy PPL um, slides for the, again, the, the areas that I'm not doing too well of. And I kind of rinse and repeat that kind of last process. And I take the final exam again, um, and then go, go, do, go through the same process. My goal is always, once I'm getting 90% or more consistently, then I'm pretty happy that I'm gonna be ready for the exam. And for a, a while now, I was getting either 100% or 95% every single time. Uh, so I just thought that I would be ready. So the reason I mention again about the Pooley's books is I actually have the older Pooley's books. Um, so if you're watching this, you're either gonna be flaming me in the comments now, uh, but hear me out. So I got the older Pooley's books because uh, I found them cheap. Someone was selling them on eBay. So like this one, the human performance book, they're all from different age ranges. Uh, this one was the fourth edition printed in 2011, so quite old. Um, and obviously things are changing in the CAA, but in general, I'm finding that most of the stuff, the general concepts and everything are still valid, even if the books are older. So in my opinion, if you can get the books, uh, older books for a good price, then definitely consider getting them. Uh, I use the books because uh, I spend my life on computers and sometimes I just wanna sit down and read something on paper as opposed to using an iPad. But then the advantage of the Easy PPL, and you could just use Easy, Easy PPL, I think. Um, but then obviously the Easy PPL is definitely up to date. So it, it bridges the gap between any old uh, theoretical knowledge I have from the paper-based stuff to the electronic stuff. And obviously then the exam bank, like I said before, is very similar to the CA exam bank. So it helps prepare you really well. So that's what I've been doing. And again, 91%. 
Um, so it's a good result. Uh, I'm happy with that. On the end of the uh, exam, after you've uh, taken it, it says um, basically the, the area or the question you got wrong. It doesn't tell you the exact question you got wrong. Um, so for me, uh, the syllabus subject was 040.04.01.02. And if we look on the, the private pilots uh, examinations kind of syllabus on the CAA website, so we have 0004.01.02. Right, so this says uh, perception, perceptual illusions, subjectivity of perception, processes of perception. And I've got to be honest with you, I don't, don't remember a question uh, in the question bank that I got that relates to that. So in my head, that would be something about like um, your perception in poor visibility or in the rain, obviously how that impacts things, perception uh, of objects at night. Um, they're the kind of things that I'd be expecting to be related to that question. Uh, and I didn't have that come up in the exam and I can't actually remember uh, the, the question that I struggled with but it, but it wasn't that it was like a scenario question like um, you know Bob is flying with his friends uh, he they're going to pick up other friends they've got more baggage than they should have uh, they decide to take the flight because Bob is under peer pressure um, but they can't make it out the climb what did Bob do wrong that that's the kind of thing that the question I struggled with nor not the struggle was more that the question was worded weirdly. The only other thing uh, for human performance that, um, in my opinion, that I struggled with a little bit, so I had to spend some time to make sure I um, had it right in my mind and also make sure that um, you have to take a, cal uh, a calculator in for this exam, is there is some questions in terms of human performance about collision speeds and things. So it's going to be based on uh, you know, how fast you're flying, flight speed and there's a there's a calculation uh, that's good to get in your memory um, so that then you can work out how many seconds you have reaction time before an incident's going to happen so that was it i hope it kind of helps human performance done uh comms is the next one i'm studying for comms at the moment um i'm getting varied results sometimes i'm getting like 90 percent. sometimes i'm getting like 70 percent. so still work to do um, on that one, which I'm going to do some revision over Christmas, and then I'm going to start, make a start on the meteorology stuff as well. Hope this video is helpful. Hope this series is helpful. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions down in the comments below. If this video has been helpful and you're enjoying it, please consider pressing that like button. And as with most things, consider subscribing and pressing the notification icon for other flight training related videos. Obviously, flights in the future when I one day get my PPL as well as other geek gadgetry stuff that I have on my Spectrum Geeks channel. Until next time, take care for now, and uh, yeah, bye for now.